Most people in America are not thinking about their retirement, so they spend all their time, all their hours, literally killing themselves for a job that does pay them wages and they make a good earning because of their degrees or their certifications and that's okay. But when they think about the quality of their life, are they really happy in life? Are they really truly enjoying their life? Are they really feeling like they're doing something proper for their life in terms of their heart, their mind, their soul? Are they really growing? Are they lear really learning? Are they really finding time for themselves and their own life balance goals? You see, most people in America have a life balance. And life balance is about life balance, meaning you have a faith. You have your own family of your own love choice. You have your own fitness, which is how you handle your cellular health. And there are some people like me who like to sell a product, or at least, at the very least, promote a product that my late father and my late mother like to share with people about keeping themselves healthy and hearty and in good energy. And even though underneath federal law we can't say it does anything at all because that would be inappropriate and illegal and immoral, we can communicate to people what is and isn't helpful. And they do that in any type of recommendation of any business across our nation. In life, we have opportunities to also look at our finances, and our finances are fully provided by our employment and how we choose to spend our working hours. What we do in our working hours impacts our life, and how we feel about our life is everything. And what we do in those working hours creates our career track, and our career track is what we do in those hours. But the question is, how much money are you really earning off your living in those hours? You see, something in marketing math that I do when I'm doing training classes for people is talking about their hourly wage in every way. And what I'm saying to you is really important, that if you're spending hundreds of hours to make that sale, let's break it down to how much money you actually make off that sale, and then let's break it down by dividing by the hours that it takes you to make that sale. And that will give you your hourly wage. And your hourly wage might be less, way less than even minimum wage by the national government because of the extra hours you might be putting in in overtime just to accomplish the things that your company or your organization or your school corporation is expecting you to. At the same time, when they hired you, they hired you not only for what you have done and what you can do, but what you will do for that corporation.